Now that's a spaceship. That's a spaceship right there. He's not even on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. He's floating. All right, guys, I'm going to go cut my hair. It's freaking long, so when I come back, I'm going to do a proper intro. What is up, fuckers? Look at that, bro. I am nice and crispy now. Damn, we are back. Let's go. But you know what is not back? The car. The car is not back. Uh, something happened to the car that I have no words of how it happened. I have no idea. So today we're going to go into a deep situational analysis of the situation and see what the hell. I try to sound smart. I, I, what the hell is wrong with the car? I know some of you guys are the best detectives ever, so I'm gonna need your help on this case. Second thing, I'm gonna tell you guys after this, the thing, I wanna give away something for 10K. I'm gonna give away two Be Distinct shirts of your own personal color, whatever color you want. I'm gonna give away two shirts for you, two lucky winners. Also, also, I do wanna, I know in the last video you guys showed me a lot of love, I appreciate it. But I also got some comments about the manual swap and I do not want to ignore that issue. Alright guys, new angle here. I'm going to tell you guys how to join the giveaway, alright? I've done this in all my giveaways, so it's nothing new. Basically, all you got to do is comment down below, okay? I'm going to be giving away two shirts of your own custom colorway, so all you got to do is comment down below. I would tell you to go like the video and go subscribe, but uh, I'm not trying to force any of you guys to do that. Do a random select generator and two random people will win, okay? Alright guys, a little bit word about the manual swap. Truth is... I'm not gonna go through with it. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I know you guys are probably getting mad. No, 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 no. I promised to get the tune a long time ago, and I'm really excited for the tune that I really wanted to my car because the intake already got in here. I'm literally just waiting on the EPS breather kit so I could do the PCV like conversion. And like, I'm just freaking, I, I want to tune the car, but also, you guys don't know, check this out. You guys don't know, I'm literally graduating from my college, right? UC Davis, there you go. They made a freaking custom banner for me. That's amazing. But I'm graduating from my four year university. Honestly, I'm really gonna try try to focus most of this time to try to get a job right now it's going to be super difficult but i really want to try to focus on getting that job because i really do need to get my income up in order to give you guys some sort of security like i'm not going to flake out on this i'm going to be like most likely i'm probably going to be boosting my car one day okay i'm going to be boosting my car one day but i will not boost my car before i freaking manual swap okay so that manual swap is definitely going to come before i boost my car so if you guys are a little concerned about the schedule of the channel let's take it over to my boy uh be distinct over at the house headquarters who's going to tell you the schedule of the of the channel the following days we're going to get that intake installed we're going to tune the g35 we're going to get a job we're going to save up eventually then we're going to manual swap the car then we're going to boost the car and then we can hopefully move on to a different car all right guys so we have the car pulled out outside right now i'm going to show you exactly what the hell is wrong with this car let me show you guys it's on that side but right, right now my dad kind of yesterday he kind of scrubbed it with like some chemical and he was able to get most of it but there's still some damage which i will show you guys right now but i also recorded before he cleaned it so that you guys can see how the hell it was so basically what happened was that we had a little race right everything was fine right then i went over to my friend's house to go study i went over there it's like a little town 30 minutes away from here called davis and then when i was done studying i came outside to go into my car and i saw what the hell happened it's right there that fender and i was like what the hell right so that wasn't there before so it, it's really strange so let me show you guys right i'm not sure what the hell caused that and then around this perimeter of the fender we got like a black rubbish my dad was able to scrub it off i think look He's able to scrub it off. So right now I'm pulled it out because I'm about to go wash it. And we got some more scratches here. They're not scratches. They're just like marks. That's the weird thing. Did go over some brand new pavements. I don't know if it could have been like some concrete pavement, like some road pavements. But then that wouldn't explain this rip mark. So, so weird. So we're going to go ahead and wash the car and see if we can scrub. We just finished washing the car. I don't know if to consider this a success or not, but check this out. I think we were able to get most of it off, but there are still some scratch marks. Um, they're not scratches, they're just literally stains. They're stains, because you cannot even feel them. To rewrap the side skirt, the fender, and the bumper would be around 179 bucks, but I think the side skirt is fine. Um, if we were to replace the fender, probably only like 50 bucks. Um, I don't know if to replace the whole front bumper just for this corner 
um, I don't think that's really worth it it's gonna end up getting messed up my bumper is already cracked as you can see on here on the side so maybe I should invest maybe in a new bumper I also want to get the freaking vented hood man dude that thing looks so sexy and if I do get a vented hood I'll probably do my own DIY uh, honeycomb carbon fiber on the vents and then wrap the rest of the hood so i think that would look freaking sick bro i guess we're gonna have to kind of live on for that i don't think i justify paying 179 bucks just for some minor scratches for right now um like i said my car is not a show car now nowhere near it so i think it works for a daily um but yeah it's kind of disappointing look it's even starting to crack here look all the way there like the thinnest line ever Besides that, the carbon fiber is looking fresh. By the way, guys, when we were driving here, I saw a bunch of cars like with balloons and stuff like that. Oh, shoot. So most likely, we're going to probably dress up the G in a future video with like balloons and like, you know, chalk on the windows and stuff like that. 2020 graduating class. And we'll make a video on that. There was a lot of people and I think, oh, look, there's one over there. Can you point it out? Uh, there was a lot of reaction like honking and stuff. I think it's a cool thing to do i think there'll be a lot more people as graduation gets closer more like june 10 or somewhere around there so uh besides that let's go take some pics and also we're gonna go to a car meet later on uh, it's like one of the first car meets here in norcal that's gonna go on um i think two car meets combined and they're making one big one so i don't know how it's gonna turn out but we're gonna go check it out and see what kind of cars we see what the freak is that guy i wish i could zoom in more but damn that's badass right these are one of the advantage. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say these are one of the advantages of Davis. The scrolls don't run away, but that will run away. Okay, I guess not. This, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm leaving. I'm happy. <laughs> Guys, uh, we're on our way to the first uh, car meet. Uh, there's been a couple drives out here in Sacramento, but not necessarily like a car meet, or not that I know of. So this is like the, I think it's one of the first um, official like car meets, like no drive. All right guys, a little update. We're going on the direction to the car meet, but we, we saw a couple 370s, like a Subaru, you know, car meet type of cars. We saw a bunch of troqueando cut trucks that way, like four of them. So I'm not sure we're, we're going in the wrong direction. All right guys, we're here at the meet. Um, we do got a couple people. We got that 350 over there. Got that popping uh, Subaru, or I don't know, whatever it is. Uh, we're gonna get out right now, see what kind of cool cars we see. I'm just gonna wait a couple minutes till more people come and then uh, we'll get out. Shit, we got the V8 gang. Damn, that, that fool's rear diffuser is insane. Very nice blue, very nice blue. We got a purple G35, G Nation. C7 body kit on a C6? I think even has the C7 tail lights, bro. C7 tail lights on a C6. That's some crazy custom stuff right there. We got a nice Genesis right here. A 350 Nismo. And it's got a turbo, bro. No way. That's Girth Nation right there, baby. Girth Nation. What do we got here? S2000? This one looks like even the Asian from Tokyo Drift, bro. This was the one. He's the one right here. The one and only. Please uh, fix your wheel gap. Please fix your wheel gap. It's a manual, though. It's a manual, though. So I can't talk shit about it. Oh my 
god, this is the definition of a spaceship, ladies and gentlemen. This is a true spaceship. That's what's up. Now that's a spaceship. That's a spaceship right there. He's not even on the ground, ladies and gentlemen. He's floating. Got a nice colored Mustang, 5.0. Very nice. And this nice M6 right here. Alright guys, you guys saw it there folks. We saw a couple cars. It's, it's actually not a bad turnout. Pretty good turnout. Pretty variety of different cars too. You got a lot of... It was an import versus a muscle car. So there was, there's a lot of 370s, 350s. There's a couple of G35s. I only saw like two I think. Uh, a lot of G37s. Uh, but yeah, we got some exotic car ends too. Some Ferraris, the Audi, the freaking NSX. That's pretty badass dude. And it had the R1 concept uh the big brake kit man that's freaking insane i wish i could get that but those are i think it's like 18 or two thousand dollars fuck man that's just badass dude. good turnout i hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll catch you guys uh next video i'm just waiting on the eps breather kit so i can uh, go ahead and take out my pcv then i can go ahead and install my colt my freaking admin tuning intake and then we can go ahead and tune the g35 a little badass and then hopefully we can get a hood man i really want a hood I need to get that hood, and then we'll see what the hell happens. Uh, that, that was it for today, folks. I'll catch you guys next video. Take care. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.